Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a simple and tasty mutton curry recipe. It's very easy. I uh, hope you will like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now I've taken here a pressure cooker and I'm adding uh, 500 grams of mutton with uh, 1 teaspoon of salt in this and I'm adding uh, 1 cup of water to cook the mutton and this goes half a teaspoon of turmeric and some spices, uh, cinnamon sticks, uh, bay leaves, cardamom and cloves and uh, I'm adding uh, half a teaspoon of uh, ginger garlic paste and half a teaspoon of uh, red chili powder also we need to mix this and uh, I'm going to cook this for 5 to 6 whistles 5 whistles is enough to cook, to cook the mutton now in a pan I have taken 3 tablespoon of oil and I am adding some uh, few curry leaves In this goes two onions and three green chilies I'm adding and we need to fry this for at least for five minutes till the onions color changes for uh, cooking the onions I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of turmeric in this and we need to fry nicely till the color changes at least for five minutes So now the onions are done it's almost cooked and this I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and fry well till the raw smell goes and now goes all the dry spices half a teaspoon of coriander powder half a teaspoon of garam masala and one teaspoon of red chili powder fry this all together for uh, two minutes just fry the spices so that the aroma comes very well now I'm gonna add one tomato medium sized tomato I have taken here and we need to cook this for another few minutes uh, till the tomatoes are uh, soft and mushy the tomatoes are cooked well just for a few minutes maybe it, uh, around two minutes you need to uh, fry this this is a very tasty recipe it goes very well with rice uh, chapatis rotis and uh, all the side dishes uh, you can use now I'm gonna add the cooked mutton along with the water I'm adding this and I need to cook this for another 5 to 10 minutes till the gravy becomes little thick you don't need to add any more masalas or coconut paste or anything this is a very simple and easy recipe any anyone can make this see now it is a little bit thick the gravy is becoming thick it's very good for uh, rice I'm adding uh, some coriander leaves in the last See now you can see the curry is almost done. This is a very good uh, recipe. You have to try this. And please do share all my recipes with your friends and family.